Well, hello guys, how you doing? And welcome. I'm gonna be doing um, <laughs> what's the album? It is Fleetwood Mac Rumors. So uh, you may notice I'm in my new studio. So um, we have a new set, and we're really enjoying it. This is my first video doing that, and I just let you take a look around here. Uh, here's camera one, and <laughs> I can speak to you guys kind of intimately through here, and I'm trying to get myself used to this as I'm uh, also doing the live lesson. So, um, yeah, so take a look. We just have uh, 70s feel. Hopefully you get that from looking at it. Um, and it should feel 70s because everything that we bought to go in the set was fr is actually from the 70s. It isn't something that was uh, made to look 70s, but actually is from the 70s. Um, and so, you know, really fun, really cool. Camera three here is where my wife will sit, my lovely wife, Shauna. She's not uh, here at the moment. but So I have uh, Marcus Phoenix sitting in for, for her there. <laughs> um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get started here with uh, lesson one of um, Fleetwood Mac, Don't Stop. Um, and, you know, we've got some really good things coming up with that album. But uh, just take that you have a little listen. strings let's see song um because there's piano throughout it's not real prevalent it's not turned up really loud but it's there the whole time but that doesn't matter it still makes a great uh piano piece because it's there and it's piano uh built the um I can't remember the girl's name who wrote the song from fleetwood mac she's a, a keyboardist and so when you have a keyboard driven song that you write on the keyboard you know it's going to work well uh, for for solo so this has kind of a boogie woogie feel it's going to be fun teaching you that um and I'm, I'm having fun with the great sound we have now. I'm able to do the the uh, piano in stereo. That's really cool. So if you put on headphones, you can hear the, the stereo-ness <laughs> of the instruments. Um, so we'll get started here. Let's look at the, the board. And as you can see, we have um, really good camera view now, very good lighting, and the, uh, you know, the monitor there is very clear I think so that's going to really help us all out um, all right why don't we finally start playing something okay so uh, B E G sharp in the right hand one three five okay and that's an E chord left hands on an E okay all right so E octave and a lot of you know whenever I just put you know a single E I mean an octave so used to that um, and then we're going to come down here and do E A C sharp now I put a little bracket on that E there because the E is pretty low and it's in the left hand's jurisdiction um, but you can still play with your right hand so because the first time through here we don't go da 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 that's later on the first time it's just dun dun you can actually play that E with your left hand if you want I just like playing with my right because it gives me more power Okay, and then that little B there, I'm going to hit the B with my two finger and then go back to my E octave. Okay, that's a common thing piano players will do is you have the octave, then you have the fifth right there under your second finger. And it's just, you know, a quick note. It's not important. Okay. And then after we play B, E, G sharp again, and I am playing that with one, two, four, I guess, because I know that the C sharp E, A is coming up, the A chord, with one, two, five, and I just want to be ready for it. And then I have a little E in there real quick, and then C sharp, E, A, G sharp, F sharp, with five, four, three. So we have dun, 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 dun. And then we repeat that. It's going to be four times total. See the four up there? Um, 
That's okay, Johnny. You can come in. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, you, you want to have a seat real quick if you want to? No? You want to go play your video game? That's cool. Yeah, well, this is kind of neat, Jonah, because um, a long time ago, see, you can move Marcus Phoenix there and or have a share with him. There you go. See, does the mic hear you? Can you talk in it? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, oh, I need to get you on camera. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get used to doing this. There's Jonah. He is my third. I have four all together, and so that camera's on right there. Yeah. And what's neat about this Jonah is that used to a long time ago, Carter would come in all the time and Evan and interrupt my lessons way back, and I finally just would just keep going because I couldn't get a clean cut, and I was like, you know what, I, I'll never get this done if I keep stopping. So they'd come in, and I'd, you know, change a diaper or whatever I had to do uh, to keep going. And, um, you know, so here you are, just carrying on the tradition, just walking <laughs> in. You know, I'm, I'm in here for hours, not recording, but as soon as I start recording, here come the kids. <laughs> it never fails. Uh, still going on. So you're like the next, you know, generation of lesson interrupters. So <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Jonah is a cuber. Yeah. He is a professional. He can actually solve the cubes. Um, so, yeah, he can, um, the you know, the, the regular Rubik's Cube or in all these new ones they've created, he can two just. Three, two yeah. by two, cube and pyraminx. Yeah, so he goes to school and they all solve their cubes. I never could solve anything on it. I thought only geniuses could do it. Apparently that's true. But So very good, Jonah. All right, bud, you can go play your. Game's over there. I'm going to get back to the lesson. <clears throat> so, anyway, yeah, we'll just go with the flow here. <laughs> um, so, pretty cool. Feels good to be back home doing this. Um, just because, I don't know, I like being at home, you know. Anyway, so we are back to the board here. Um, four times total. The first time is straight. You don't do any da-da-da-da-da. It's just da Okay, and then you do it again. Two, boom. See how that little ease in between there? Okay. So the third time, okay. So the the uh, third time we're gonna third time and the fourth time we're gonna bring in the don da don da don. You know the bass guitar do 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 gives that little rhythm to it. Okay, so it doesn't speed up. It may feel like it has more action there, but it um, you're just adding the dun da dun to that. Yeah, that boogie-woogie rhythm with the bass guitar and the drums, I think. Um, so that's what we're going to do in this third time. <clears throat> so. Um, now, I don't like to clutter up the board, and I don't like to write a lot. <laughs> so it kind of serves the purpose to, to just let you get used to this. dun 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 Fourth time, ba -ba 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 -ba. and you just have to give it your best shot. I mean, sometimes you um, you hear me do something. I'm going to try to do that, and you just can't do it. Well, you have to just do it the best you can at the moment. But don't give up. Keep doing it, and eventually, it's going to work for you one day if you don't give up. You just have to get in there and go after it. Uh, but I'd rather you feel it. Da, da, da. Feel that rhythm under your fingers and 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 maybe not do it exactly perfect but still you're feeling it instead of trying to count how many times your left hand's going before you put it with your right because then it remains mathematical and it never becomes musical okay i found that to be true so i kind of like this method of teaching for that reason um, that it makes you um, feel it okay so the third time da, 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 da. four time Okay, so um, to recap here for the intro, I think that's probably enough for the part one, just to sink your teeth into it, to see if you want to play it or not. So, bum, bum, third time, fourth time. Something pretty cool as well is to add a little strings. I have strings on here. And you have, adds a little backing. That's why I like the Kawhi in P11SE. I like the, 
like it because the buttons are all readily accessible. I can just do, I don't have to go through menus on a screen. I mean, it does have a screen with a menu, but uh, most of it you can do just, you can see and press a button. I love that. All right, so there's our part one. And I think, uh, you know, like I said, just sink our teeth into it and see if we want to play it or not. See if you could could get it going. If you can feel that, bump, 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 bump. There's a lot of kind of blues elements in there, in here, but they're it not, it's not too bluesy crazy, where you're not gonna be able to play it. So if you ever wanted to to play something that sounded kind of bluesy, this is a good one to do. Okay, so I'll see you in the part two, and we'll go from there. <laughs> 